Hello friends, welcome back. Now in this lecture, we will be understanding how to record or how to post the payroll vouchers in tally. So for that, first of all, we have to select the payroll vouchers and in this, you can see a option, an option in the right horizontal bar that is payroll. So we have to select this option with control plus F4 and here you have to autofill your payroll record. So I am choosing the option Alt A. When you select Alt A, this will be asking you some of the options and here in this payroll autofill pop-up, you have to select process for salary as we are defining the salary or we are posting the voucher for salary. Now you have to define the period for which date you are defining the salary and I am defining this salary for 1st April 2020 till 30th April 2020. So I am changing the date and then I am posting this for staff, for my staff and then the, I am taking the payroll voucher as my salary table. I am making my or generating my current liability. Now, as you can see, the voucher has been auto filled with the details as we had provided the def definition and the formula for salary in previous lectures. So you can see here the Daniel salary and the Preeti salary has been automatically filled. Now you have to accept the screen and now we have to record another payroll voucher for workers in the same way and this has to be paid in cash. See, in the previous voucher, what we had done, we had just created the liability in salary payable voucher, right? We had created the liability yet. But in the upcoming voucher, in this transaction, we will be paying directly to the workers in cash. So, our entry will become, we'll choose here the cash account. We'll choose the cash account over here. Then you have to autofill the salaries. When you select the option, you will be selecting the salary over here. Then the period from 1st April till 1st May. This is for workers. You have to take it for workers. Now you are paying in the cash. You will select and then you have to in, you need not to include employee for banking details. So I'm keeping this option, no. Now you have to select enter. And when you select enter, we'll, we can show that this voucher, we are paying in cash to the workers and all the salary details are automatically calculated on the basis of the, tip, uh, on the has been calculated on the basis of the formula that we had defined in the previous lecture. So now I am selecting and entering this voucher. Now the next transaction we have, we have to record the incentive given to the workers and this incentive has also been paid to workers in cash. So for this, we have to use this payroll voucher in the same way we did in the previous entry. So here you have to select the cash. Now you have to take autofill option, payroll autofill. Here you have to select user defined option, market, a user defined option. You have to specify the period that is 1st April to 1st May. Now in the employees or group, you have to select workers and then you are paying in cash. Now as we had selected the user defined option, now you will be able to see here the two names are reflecting from the workers group that is Joseph and Sukriti. So for Joseph, I am paying the variable pay at rupees 100. I am debiting with 100 rupees and I am debiting Sukriti with 500 rupees. So this is how we can define the pay manually. Now I am accepting the screen. Now, the next transaction we have is the disbursement of salary to staff has made through the direct transfer from HDFC bank to employees bank account. Now, in the previous entry, in the very first entry, we had created the liability. Now, in this transaction, we are paying off that liability. 
So for paying off that liability, what we have to do? We have to select our payment option from accounting vouchers. Now you can select accounting vouchers from here, and you can press payment option from here. You can take the payment option, and then again you have to select payroll autofill. But above that, you have to select your HDFC bank ledger. Then you have to key select the. All plus A key, and after that, you have to select salary payments. You have to describe the dates or the period for which you are paying. Now, the employees group will belong to all items, and we are paying through HDFC Bank from salary payable account, and this will be taken as HDFC. This will we'll get as no and accept the screen. Now, when we accept the screen. This is reflecting the total salary payable account amount that we had outstanded in the previous transaction. So I am accepting this free. So this is how you can post all the entries, all your transaction related to payroll vouchers. And in the next lecture, I will be showing you the payroll related reports. So till then, revise it and make the transactions by your own.